Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's me, Peter, and welcome to day three of my daily vacation vlogs live from Wilmette, Illinois. Right now, I have decided to go for a walk today. It's about 10.30 right about now, and I figured I'd go on a little walk, just get some exercise in, because heck, why not? Even though I'm on a vacation, it's not a vacation from healthy living. I'm actually gonna take you on my walk with me, show you the route I used to go back when I used to ride my bike, actually. However, I don't have my bike with me now. It's actually back in Fort Dodge. Um, tires are flat and I don't have a helmet, so it's a little convoluted. I won't be riding that for a while, but who cares? I got my own two legs that I'm able to use and use them, I will. By the way, I need to apologize profusely for you guys. A few days ago, I told you on my Facebook page that I was planning on vlogging something that would amuse some but confuse most people. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that because I needed a specific prop for this and I wasn't able to get a hold of this prop. Um, I don't want to say what it was because I may do it the next time I come home and I don't want to give any spoilers away, but trust me when I say certain people would have found this really, really amusing. And I'm sorry to be vague about this, but trust me when I say it would have been hilarious. I'm now walking down Wilmette Avenue, which is actually seen as the dividing line between two school districts. I explained this to you in a previous vlog, but I figure I'll go a little more elaborate this time around. The left side of the street, which is what I'm walking on right now, is part of the Avoca School District, which is where I went to school. But right across the street is the Wilmette School District. People in that side of the street went to District 39, I went to District 37. I'm not entirely sure who drew the district lines here or why they drew them the way they did, but literally if I lived two blocks over, I would have gone to a completely different school district. Avoca, there were about 82 in my junior high graduating class. Well, Met, I think has, how many do they have? They've probably got Probably about 150 maybe, I don't know. I, I knew a lot of people that went to the Wilmette School District though. I'm now crossing the street at Wilmette Avenue and I'm getting ready to cross Hibbard. I'm gonna head to the park, believe it or not. I have not been to this park in ages. Used to play here all the time when I was younger. Uh, as I'm 27, I probably can't really do that anymore, but oh well, it's nice to take a nice stroll through the park. Yeah, pretend that made any sense because it didn't. I just got off of Wilmette Avenue and now I'm walking down a path that I used to ride my bike on. This will take me right through the Park District property. Uh, there's the Park District building up ahead. I showed you that one of the last times I was here. And the playground, uh, one of the playgrounds I used to go to is just up here on the right. There's the playground right on the right. The sign said it's recommended for ages 7 to 12. Up next is a play playground meant for preschoolers. Uh, there's a bunch of kids out, so I won't be recording it there. But that was fun. I played on that a couple times when I was younger. I think my sister would have been in preschool about that time. And just like I said last time, here is the community rec center. You know, a while back I mentioned that Wilmette is a tree city USA, and they're very proud of that title, as you can see. So a lot of people say that small town Iowa is really easy to find your way around since the streets are named after a landmark. Well, well, that's the same way. The road behind me is Skokie Boulevard. That goes right into Skokie. The road I was just traveling on down there is Wilmette Avenue, and that, well, goes right into Wilmette. Same thing with Winnetka Avenue. That goes into Winnetka. My personal favorite is Lake Avenue, which isn't too far from where I live, which leads, well, right to Lake Michigan. <laughs> It's not that hard to find the lake. Just keep going. Make sure you don't go the other way though because then you'll end up at Glenview. Which I'm pretty sure there's also a Glenview road that leads into Glenview. So, pretty hard to get lost in the North Shore. Speaking of which, I am now back on Wilmette Avenue walking towards Hibbard and I'm going to go down Hibbard in just a little bit. One other thing I wanted to mention. Remember I told you about how I was on the border of the Avoca and Wilmette school districts? Well, the other border is actually right here at Hibbard. The Part of the road I'm walking on right now is the Wilmette School District, but as we cross the street right here, I am going to be entering the Avoca School District. And right now I am in the Avoca School District simply by crossing a street. I told you it was kind of convoluted. 
Well, friends, I am almost back home, so I'm going to conclude this walk today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you had a lot of fun with me walking around and getting my daily exercise. And once again, it's time for lunch. And today, of course, I'm having a delicious lean cuisine. One of my favorite lean cuisines, in fact. This is the sweet and spicy Korean barbecue. It is my absolute favorite lean cuisine. It's delicious. It's got beef, rice, cucumbers, some other veggies. It is so delicious. It's also got soy sauce too, which not exactly the healthiest thing, but you know what? It's great. The rest of it is perfect. Apparently, even on my vacation, I can't get away from news. Uh, I have just learned that famed Irish singer Sinead O'Connor has gone missing while riding her bike in Wilmette. This is not a joke. All major news outlets are reporting it. Sinead O'Connor has gone missing in my hometown. Apparently they're afraid that she might be suicidal or that she's suffering from suicidal tendencies. Uh, she went missing Sunday morning about 6 in the morning as she was riding her bike. Uh, yeah, this is about as bizarre as life can get. Uh, and like I said, even on my vacation I can't get away from the news. Um, such is life, I guess. Um, I don't really know if there's anything I can do about this. Um, I'll keep my eyes open for her, I guess. Um, it's just flat out bizarre. I cannot believe that a singer who is very well known has gone missing in my hometown. This is just, it's just not something that happens. Certainly very, very strange. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted if I hear anything, but yeah, those are just my thoughts on something I really never thought I'd be thinking about. Actually, we're going to Old Orchard right now. Um, my wardrobe update continues. I'm going to buy maybe another new pair of jeans, uh, maybe some more clothes, maybe some new, more shirts. Who knows? Um, like I said, time for me to update my wardrobe, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I like... I like changing my appearance every once in a while. Not drastically or anything, but it's nice to do. Good news on two fronts, my friends. Number one, Sinead O'Connor has been found and she is safe. And two, my shopping excursion to update my wardrobe was a success. Got a new pair of pants, got a new belt, got a couple new shirts. I am going to look glorious when I get back to Fort Dodge. I can promise you that. It's dinner time, my friends, and for dinner, I am having a delicious meal that I also enjoyed down in Dodge. This right here is General Tso's Spicy Chicken. It's got chicken, rice, peas, carrots. I have it fairly frequently. It's called a Cafe Steamer. It's by Healthy Choice, I believe. It is absolutely delicious. Well, friends, that day ended kind of boringly now, didn't it? <laughs> my apologies, my friends. I wasn't able to get out of the house too much today or do anything all that interesting. That will change in the next few days, though. I have a few things planned, a few exciting things that I think you'll all enjoy. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, not entirely sure why you would, but either way, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply click that subscribe button to uh, simply click that subscribe button down below. Man, I'm tongue-tied. <laughs> well, until I see you again tomorrow, this is Peter wishing you a good night.